What up guys, compa Giovanni and uh, well I'm just gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes the requintazos, let's go. Alright so I'm gonna give you guys like unos tips for you guys starting out like your business and stuff like I'm still learning and shit but like this is these are the things that help me out like make more sales and stuff so hopefully these tips help you out. The first thing that really helped me out and I just started applying this like the past couple of months is uh email marketing so like antes like before I, I used to think that no one read emails anymore and that it was useless and stuff but honestly it's like the best thing you could do for your business so if you don't have an email list or you don't know you haven't applied doing this like it's very important <laughs> once i started doing email marketing like my sales literally doubled in like month in a month in two months uh before i started doing it, i was doing it like i was doing like five thousand a month and now since i applied it more recently it went it doubled to like ten thousand so watch if yeah i use um shopify and i use this app you see i'm a clav clavillo <laughs> so i suggest you download this and it's not that hard they don't charge you a lot i think it's free for the first couple like thousand subscribers and basically it looks like this all right um so for the past 30 days you could see total revenue ten thousand dollars and the majority of this came from from clavillo and i don't have to do anything like all the emails are already set up you can see right here welcome series i have a for people who first sign up let me show you my site so this is very important because this is where a lot of people lose a whole bunch of money and and you're spending money on ads and stuff so like you gotta make the best of of that investment so like if you don't have a, a capture page and you're sending traffic to your to your website and they leave and you don't have any way to contact them again then you just lost out on a whole bunch of sales in the future oh shit, it closed um right, let me reload it the first thing i have right here that's for text it says get 10 percent off and basically they get a coupon code for if they put their number in here and um yeah so that's how i capture phone numbers and that's another way to do it but all right so basically when someone enters my website this thing pops out and it's like 20 percent off a 20 percent off coupon and this is like very important to people who have never heard of your brand before because they're not sure if they should spend the money. They obviously clicked your ad because they were interested, but that doesn't mean they're gonna buy. So this is gonna capture, like maybe they're not gonna buy, but they're like 20% off, let me check it out. So they enter their email and bam, now you have their email and you can keep emailing them later on, even if they don't buy. And like, I'll show you why this is important right now. So I'm going to show you guys my dashboard again. Um, this is automated. Like I don't have to do anything. And that's what this did um, by itself. Like you just set this up once and you leave it and forget it. So welcome series. It gets them their, their discount. And that alone did 658 so far. And that's not too bad. And then you have your abandoned cart. So if they added it to their cart, then you can send out emails reminding them to complete their purchase. A thank you, también. You could um, send them a thank you. And at the end, you could still like offer to buy something else. So that's good. Customer win back is like, if they haven't bought for like a month, two months, half a year, a whole year, you could get them back by sending emails like maybe if they haven't bought for over a year you could send them like a 60 percent off coupon and that sounds like too too much but it's it's good because maybe they're never gonna buy from you again so if they see that coupon they're like oh shit let me buy and then they start all over with your brand so that's what i recommend that's what's been helping me out product reviews obviously they help out and then now these are the campaigns that i send out like I try to send one at least one every week, but the more you send, the more the better. But I mean, you don't want to spam them. So um, like this is just notifying them because 
coronavirus. All right, so like coronavirus affected my business because I ran out of strings during this time. And the factories I work with, the manufacturers, they told me that they had to close down because they couldn't have a whole bunch of workers working. So when I ordered, it took a whole month to get here. So like I had, and I still had a couple of strings left, but I sold out. And so I was out of strings for like a few weeks and that honestly hurt my sales. And I'm just starting to recuperate from that. But like, that's why it's important to have communication with your customers because if you don't, like if they were tripping out and they're like, oh, I don't have my streams or I placed an order and it still hasn't arrived. Like you're gonna get a whole bunch of charge ba chargebacks and stuff. So it's very important to keep them informed. And yeah, I had to refund some, but like the majority of, majority of people, they didn't, they, they weren't tripping because they knew what was going on. So, um, and it was because of these emails that I sent out. So that was the first one when I notified them that, that we were sold out. And then uh, the seventh, I notified them that there were more strings coming in, but it was still going to take a while. And then I left it at that. Then I tried to send value too. So this one was like a tutorial video for people who play guitar, teaching them how to play. This was another offer. This was for um, another product I have for a guitar course. This was again notifying notifying them of what was going on with the the string sold out. Another value bomb I call them. <laughs> another tutorial. Another tutorial. This one I did a fifty percent off Memorial Day weekend with just one email I sent out. It only took me what less than ten minutes to write, and they did that amount. So that's the importance of email, and all these add up. So. Like I said, the more emails you send out, the more it helps your business out. So right now we're gonna send out another email today, probably just offering more value to them, like a free tutorial or something like that, that helps them out. And then we're gonna ship out strings and then I'll show you guys more behind the scenes. All right, so um, we got that email sent out. And um, all right, so I'm working with my manufacturer right now cause I'm running out of strings and as you could see, uh, every time I reorder, it's about two thousand five hundred dollars, and um, I'm telling you, COVID fucked me up because I ran out of strings, and honestly, that kind of built up hype. So I, I guess it kind of worked out in the end. Uh, but I already sold out of another box, and I still have another box left. But I'm gonna order right now because I don't know how long it's gonna take to get here. Um, but I mean, running a business is pretty pricey, man. Like. I spent so far about $5,000 on um, pure product and right now I'm gonna spend another 2,500 so that's gonna be like what 7,500 in a month that's pretty pricey um, but yeah that's why you gotta know your margins and stuff so uh, I'm gonna buy these strings and uh, keep on going all right man so now we're just gonna um, print out some labels and this is basically all I do. I I was doing some errands right now. I was doing some chores, doing laundry, and mientras I let the orders for the day come in, and right now I'm gonna print them out. So as you can see, I have a couple orders in, and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna print out the labels, uh, package up everything, and ship them out. Let's do it. This is basically the setup. And uh, I just recently got these. These are um, polymeter bags with my brand on it. And honestly, I recommend these if you're making consistent sales because it definitely helps out with branding and they're way cheaper than buying them on Amazon and stuff. Because if you buy these on Amazon, it's gonna cost you more because they're reselling. But if you get these directly from a manufacturer, I get these from Alibaba.com. So if you find a manufacturer, they're gonna brand it for you like you can see right here and it's gonna cost you only a couple cents per bag so you're gonna be saving tons of money especially if you're making consistent sales so um, look it up I actually recommend it but if you're barely starting off then you could buy these bags um, unbranded on Amazon or eBay and that's usually gonna be better if you're barely starting off your brand and you're not making consistent sales because on Alibaba you're gonna need um, you're gonna need to purchase a bunch, like a thousand bags, two thousand bags, so they could um, give you that wholesale price. So if you're barely starting off, I don't recommend it, but if you're already making cons consistent sales, then yeah, go for it. 
you're gonna save money and you're gonna build your brand at the same time. All right, so this is another thing I barely started doing too, these stickers. So these are high quality stickers and I get these from alibaba.com too. And it helps out with branding. Like I said, people like getting these stickers with every order and not a lot of companies do that, but it's gonna help you stand out and it's gonna help you spread more brand awareness. And they're pretty legit. I get these for like one cent each, so it's like super cheap and um, it definitely helps out your brand. Okay, and this is basically how it looks like with the package with the supplies inside. It, it's simple, but it helps your business out a lot. Like, especially if you tag your website and your Instagram. Like people, once they receive these, they tag me on Instagram and I get pictures of these and that obviously helps spread awareness. And um, people are gonna remember your website and stuff. So it definitely helps boost sales in the future. So yeah, I recommend it. All right, so we just finished packing up the stuff. Like I said, um, this is basically my day. I spent most of the time doing chores and working because uh, I had to do laundry the whole day, but shit. But yeah, that's what I do. That's how I grew my brand. Like when I first started, like Quintasso, when I first started my brand, I mean, I was only making like 2000 per month. But then I started learning more. And that's another thing because I, I started posting these videos about how you don't need college to start a business. And then people like to argue because like they're closed-minded and that's what I learned about a lot of people that a lot of people are closed-minded and they think that there's only one path in life that you have to go to college you get a job and work the rest of your life and I mean I'm living proof that you don't need that because I went to college and I could tell you that I'm not applying anything that I learned in college to my business because it was most most of the stuff they taught was like like you don't you don't need it you don't apply it so that's why I decided to drop out even against what my parents told me even against what my family told me because they're like oh you're messing up don't do it and I was like fuck it it's my life if I mess up then fuck it I'm so young I could still go back to school and shit and so that was my decision I, I decided to drop out and I started going full time into this business, the Quintasso. And um, like right now, it's doing 10,000 per month in revenue every month. And um, these are just some of the things that I've learned through actually running a business. Like these things, you're not gonna learn these things from a college professor. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate because some college professors, they do run their businesses or they might have worked in the field but it's not the same thing running your own business and working for a business it's not like if you work for a business you still have that employee mindset like you're still depending on the employer to pay you so there's a huge difference even as a small business like I'm not making I'm not making as much as these big businesses but my mindset is way different and um, yeah like I wouldn't like if you guys can't relate then you can't relate like school wasn't for me and I'm not my choice like school wasn't for me and um, like in my heart I could never be an employer because I've worked before and like my last job was working at a Nike factory and that that job honestly I learned a whole bunch from that job I learned that like the job wasn't for me and if I'm gonna work hard for someone I deserve more than fucking ten dollars an hour and I'm not gonna work hard to grow someone else's brand like if I'm gonna work it doesn't matter how much I make I'm gonna work for me I don't work to build my empire to build my success not someone else's so that's why a job was never an option for me so that's why I do this and I'm not making I'm not the richest person in the world I'm not making bank like a lot of people I'm not the most richest guy I'm not the most successful dude but I'm doing what I love and my hard work is building my brand my empire my success so if you can relate comment down below 
And if you can't, then comment down. I still want to hear your thoughts, your opinions. Like I'm not, I'm not saying you should drop out. That's just my opinion. You don't need, you don't need college for for to start a business. Yeah. So this is like the first business vlog that I've done because um, I wanted to, and I want to start expanding my content because this is a major part of my life. So sorry for the people that are subscribed to this channel already, but this is a part of my life too, and I wanted to share it with you. Hopefully this inspires at least one person to follow their dreams and to build a brand or to build a business and stuff. Like you don't need a lot. And if you like this video, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.